Good day, jury members. First, let me introduce myself and discuss my capstone thesis proposal. My name is Jericho Boko, and the title of my capstone design project is Orion Point, designing a futuristic shopping mall through sustainable architecture in Kalumpit, Bulacan, Philippines. But before moving on to the next slide, I'd want to give you a little overview of how I came up with my thesis title. Orion derives from the constellation of stars and Greek word which means rising in the sky. This would connect with the concept of the proposed project and its main goal of becoming one of Bulacan's most recognizable landmarks. Orion is the perfect name for the mall because the proposed project's architectural character is futuristic design, promoting themes such as space digital age and new age wave. Moreover, sustainable architecture will be utilized in the project to lessen the negative environmental impact of the buildings by utilizing renewable energy and materials as well as green building approaches. The project. Nowadays, shopping malls are not designed for a single purpose. Compared to the shopping mall of the past, shopping malls of today have more complex functions. Shopping in mall is convenient because all of the stores are in one place. The shopping mall has everything you could possibly need, including a grocery store, clothing and shoe store, bookshops, a food court, movie theaters, and a variety of other entertainment options. The proposed project is a futuristic shopping mall located in Kalumpit, Bulacan, Philippines that adheres to environmentally friendly building methods. This shopping mall will benefit culture, shopping, entertainment, and commerce. They all work together to make the experience more enjoyable for both visitors and employees. This project will serve as a landmark facility in the context of the province. It will also serve as a tourist attraction for the people of Bulacan. The functional aspect of the proposed shopping mall is to create an architectural and interior design that gives visitors with a new and unique impression. The goal of this project is to establish a unconventional leisure mall to accommodate tourists. Utilizing diverse new trend innovation and creative design is the key to constructing a successful futuristic mall. This project will support Kalumpit's economic growth and offer jobs for the people of Bulacan. According to Nielsen Media Research, 80% of the Philippines population visit shopping mall once or twice a month, and 36 people visit shopping malls twice a month. Overcrowding is one of the drawbacks of shopping malls, especially on weekends and holidays. The corridors and crowded store make shopping difficult for customers. When the mall is busy, parking can also be an issue. As the population of Bulacan continues to rise, malls have become increasingly desirable. According to the Kalumpit Tourism from CLUP, a one-stop shop along the major road should be established to showcase local products and encourage people to visit Kalumpit. The municipality of Kalumpit needs more commercial establishment such as shopping mall to increase the municipality's economic status. The following questions are intended to be answered by this research. The objective of the project is to establish a futuristic shopping mall that will offer a huge variety of goods and services to the public. It seeks to provide users with a unique, secure, and fulfilling shopping and leisure experience. It also aims to become one of Bulacan's most recognizable landmarks, which will boost tourism. Mainly, it intends to address the common issues troubling shopping malls and provide guests with an exceptional shopping experience where they can shop and dine comfortably while connecting with nature. The project's objectives are as follows. To provide large and adequate space for shopping. To provide multi-level parking facility. To offer more work opportunities in Bolacan. To establish a futuristic shopping center 
with art gallery, leisure center, game room, and gardens, and to design an efficient and sustainable shopping center using green building methods and technologies. Ayala Land Incorporation is the ideal client for the proposed shopping mall project because their vision and mission are aligned with the project's goal of improving people's quality of life by developing master planned and sustainable buildings. Ayala Land is one of the Philippines' leading real estate developers. They design master planned communities that promote sustainable development and offer consumers, investors, and stakeholders with long-term value. Their mission and vision is shows here. The proposed project focuses on providing shopping mall and landscape to the community, which would provide consumer with new and enhanced shopping and leisure experience. The major purpose of the proposed project is to create an establishment that serves as a landmark and a resource for the needs of the people, as well as one that offers a more comprehensive and distinctive customer experience. The success and impact of the shopping mall on the public can be established by its all-over design, space programming, site development, and application of innovative and sustainable design. The primary target users of the shopping malls are all residents of Kalumpit, Bulacan, and neighboring towns and cities, as well as visitors from other places. The proposed project would be limited to constructing a mall that would provide larger and adequate space for shopping, dining, and leisure activities. The project does not include detailed structural planning. The research focuses on fundamental concepts, design, and theory. These are the mall's amenities or spaces which include but are not limited to Digital Art Gallery, showcasing the culture of Bulacan, Leisure Center, Indoor, Outdoor and Sky Garden, Game Room and Arcades, Retail Stores with shopping section for local products, Skylight, Groceries, Cinemas, Parking and Entertainment Area, Department Store, and restaurant and food court. Here is the design process for determining what has to be done and attempting to attain a goal. The design process consists Step 1. Define the problem. Collection information. Brainstorm and analyze ideas. Develop, gather, and improve design. The proposed small site is ideal for commercial use. It is located in Pio Cruzcuza, a small town in the municipality of Calumpit on the coast of Bulacan province. The shopping mall site has a total area of 97,680 square meters and is situated between La Residencia and Guardianville subdivision. Calumpit, officially the municipality of Calumpit, is a first-class municipality in the Philippine province of Bulacan. It has a population of 118,471 people according to the 2020 census. The municipality has a land area of 56.25 square kilometers or 21.72 square miles. According to the Kalumpit Comprehensive Land Use Map, the proposed project site is suited for commercial use and is positioned in the commercial residential zone between La Residencia and Gardenville subdivision in Barangay Pio Cruz Cusa. The site inventory entails assessing the current state of the site and analyzing the sand path, prevailing wind directions, road networks, noise levels, and existing establishments nearby. Based on the analysis, the figure illustrates the position of Amihan and Habagat which affect the circulate throughout the site. Moving on, this part shows the nearby existing establishments surrounding the site. The first is La Residencia, Walter Mart Malolos, Vista Mall Malolos, and Gardenville Subdivision.
this part explains the proposed project SWOT analysis. The site's advantages in this drawing are as follows. The site is situated at the National Highway. The site is in residential commercial development area. The site is close to important facilities such as hospitals, schools, church, and other commercial establishments. The site is easily accessible by all modes of public and private transportation. The site is relatively flat and no slope to consider. And lastly, the proposed site is far from fault line. The weakness are, the site is divided with few property owners. Because the site is located along National Highway, possible traffic may occur. Opportunities, it can create more job opportunities in Bulacan, particularly in the municipality of Kalumpit. Future business place for both local and foreign investors and the trucks potential tourists to the location. The threats are vehicular noise that can cause disturbance to the users and possibility of competition due to the proximity of another commercial establishment. Moving forward, the initial schematic design displayed circulation access as well as legends for amenities, facilities, and the main shopping mall. Moving on, the National Building Code of the Philippines designs standards such as zoning classification, maximum building height, and parking slot requirements are shown here. Here is the BP344 required number of accessible parking spaces for people with disabilities. Other pertinent law to be considered in the project are Fire Code of the Philippines, Sanitation Code of the Philippines, and Plumbing Code of the Philippines. In environmental system, passive sustainable design will be applied in the proposed project. Also, the interactive outdoor and indoor landscaping that brings nature into the architectural structure. And lastly, the daylighting, using natural light to illuminate building interiors. Any structural systems, the project's main structure shall have reinforced concrete to withstand structural stress caused by the building self-load and by natural forces. And also, composite columns, and the space frame will be utilized to the project. Here are the project's utility systems. First, the electrical system, which involves photovoltaic system and a backup generator. Next, the mechanical system, which includes the traction elevator system and the escalators, as well as the lighting and acoustical systems. The plumbing and sanitary includes sewerage treatment plant or STP, drainage system, rainwater harvesting system, and waste management plan. The total lot area of the site is 97,680 square meter or 9.76 hectares. It is commercial zoned according to comprehensive land use map of Kalumpi. Here are the application of development controls. The parking space ratio and the parking computation. The total number of parking slot computed is 822 slots. Here, in demand analysis, the projected population by 2035 of Kalumpit, Malolos, Laredel, and Pulilan is presented. 
in user demand analysis, 100% of the total population of Kalumpit, Bulacan is the primary user. The secondary users cover the nearby town of Kalumpit, which includes Malolos, Claridel, and Pulilan. And also, the expected total number of users monthly, weekly, and daily are represented here. These are the bubble diagrams of the shopping mall. And also, the matrix diagram. The overall concept of the project is to incorporate sustainable architecture into the site development and landscape design with the goal of making the shopping mall as environmentally friendly as possible. The design approach involves designing buildings to minimize any negative environmental impact. Design philosophy Architecture is about trying to make the world a little more like our dreams by Bjerk Ingels. The founder of Big Architects, Bjerk Ingels, is a very influential architect of the 21st century. His philosophy connects with emerging architects, particularly the designer of this project, who strives to design buildings that address current issues while utilizing technology to innovate unique structures. Moving forward, the initial schematic design displayed circulation access as well as legends for amenities, facilities, and the main shopping mall. The shopping mall architectural character is futuristic interior design, which promotes themes such as time travel, space digital age, and new age wave. The themes include semi-transparent and plain walls with polished finishes. The walls are counterbalanced by circular shaped furniture. Here are some smart innovation of the proposed project. VR Cinema The mall will have a virtual reality cinema. Virtual reality, like 3D technology, is designed to enhance user engagement. AR Indoor Navigation Visitors can use indoor AR navigation to locate the shortest or planned route to their indoor point of interest, like shop, restaurant, etc. One of the main highlights of the shopping mall is the digital art gallery. It focuses on the use of digital technologies to present or visualize arts. The major function of this digital gallery is to showcase Bulacan culture and history through displays and visuals. Here are some of the materials that we'll utilize to the project. First is photovoltaic glass, acoustic panel, aluminum cladding, and low E glass. And lastly, the remaining slides are Project Cost Analysis, 17 Lines Format, Annual Income, and Return of Investment. The projected return of investment of the project is 3 to 4 years. That's all, thank you.